Okay, hello, welcome back. This is Justana once again. Um, welcome to Penny Larceny Release Week. It was released on Monday, two days ago. And so now we can play the whole game. Woo! Um, I left it on this screen because I thought it was important. Um, you know, the game is about being a criminal and can include obscene language, discussions of sexuality and romance, also deals with triggering subjects such as violence and self-harms. If you want to see the full content warning, it's available on their website at fictionfactoringgames.com slash cw. So, just bear that in mind. And, um, I kind of remember where it all is. It's been a while. So, here we go. A greedy gathering of gregarious gangsters. That changes um, each time you open the game. So. And I'm just vibing to the music for a bit. I love it. Options. Here we go. Uh, full screen, obviously. Dialogue, colorful, monotone, inverted, deleted, and colorful. I did. I know I originally had open dyslexic as my font when I did the demo. So I decided to switch it to simple for this because um, when you change the font, um, the titles of the characters are just the same font. They, they don't change. I'll be reading most of the text anyway, so yeah, let's take a six box solid. And okay, here we go. Let's start. And again, content warning. Just as a reminder. This is because um, in beta testing I did finish one of the timelines. The work begins, four timelines remain. Work for all the villains, discover their truth. Okay, so that's because I've already been finished a, a timeline. This is where you start if you haven't played the game before. In my line of work, you learn to look at the big picture, crafting your design for it little by little. Everything connects up, dotted lines and arrows and symbols of path leading from A to B to C to D. When you do your job right, it's clean and precise, professional, and awesome. I love it when a plan, plan comes together. It's not possible to predict every step, of course. A skilled schemer is also an impressive improviser. You adjust the plan on the fly. Skilled schemer, impressive improviser. I love it. But in the end, you'll get where you're going, where you needed to be. But that assumes one very big X factor, which is rarely a simple X to solve for. Where are you actually going? What are you destined to become? This world doesn't have to be this way. We can change things, change them for the better. You and I, we can tear it down and build it back up, make a better future so nobody has to go through the same pain we did. We don't have to be trapped in their systems. We can break free, do what we want, when we want, how we want. Two of a kind against them all, living a life of pleasure and freedom in whatever manner we choose. No one can stop us. My own internal algorithms are a dead-end loop of suffering and misery. Exterminate. 
external inputs are clearly required in order to balance my equation. Your input has become a vital component in this transformation. Do not discount your own potential. It is vast and incalculable, even for me. We're all playing the roles that were picked out for us. Sometimes you see the strings, sometimes you don't spot them until it's too late. But in the end, we don't have to be what they say we are. There is no destiny, and there are so many possibilities to choose from. You've already seen one picture for me, haven't you? We've walked this road before, and you came back to explore another. So the question is, what destiny will you choose next? That is slightly different if you've never done this before, just saying. Okay, this is what you've done it before. I'm not going to skip the big time because I'm going to score two things out of that support. So we're not skipping the score. Hey! Hey! You have a bullet of right in my chair. Next thing is going to get from the property nap time. Crap! Did I doze off? It's okay, I know you had a long night. Yeah, and then it's like the six hour not drinking cartoons been for quite a big day. Probably not my smartest move. Honestly, this is boring. Boring. Boring, boring, boring. This whole office is boring. I can't believe we got a five for a job. A job of all these. Mom Tong is sitting here filing paperwork for the man. That's totally unknown. I'm such a disappointment. I feel a creepy wave of shame running down my spine when I'm near the bottom of it. I know it's fun, but we gotta get through this. Don't give up! I know, I know, it's all part of the plan. I haven't forgotten what's at stake. Wait, what time is it? I look up quickly at the clock. Crap! I've got like five minutes to finish this paperwork or we'll be late. Need your help here. Fill this out for me, quick. Alias, Jane Doe, John Smith, Amanda Hugging Kids, Seymour Butts. Just kidding. Write your own. Let's go with Seymour Butts. Still see her skin tone. A little lighter. Just a little. Let's go with that one. Okay. Still with Silly Swearing, still romance, still sexuality. Yes. Okay, so my alias is going to be Seymour Butt, pronounced she, her, and I'm okay with romance and sex. All that sounds good? Sounds good. Pleased to meet you, Miss Butt. And pleased to meet you, too. That's me, Seymour Butt. Good name for an aspiring young intern, I hope. We straighten the stack of papers, quickly carrying them over to the reception. I just want to accept my form, advancing them over to you want to go right Good work! And right on time. Welcome to the team. Keep working for Austin. Cooperation, Ms. Butts. Right, that's me. Cooperative. I'm a dream cooperative. I'm a more cooperative butt. And I'm looking forward to starting my job today. Ma'am, just when you have more quick work and I'll take care of it. I want to start some more as company shareholder value within a day or my name is good. Absolutely, I read all things of Leonard, uh, he's so legitimate, and he's so innovative and market disruptive. I use a digital computer at home for everything I do. Right, so we don't need to bring you up to speed on the latest Bell Boss version. I'll just get some plays it, and then you know where to touch my back. I'm sure I remember. Tell me about ASD drive, ASD drive, SSD, FBI. Solid state drives. The mixed optimization algorithms for solid state drives and LBOS are really something else. Agree. Clearly, you're familiar with this in the team mix work. Thank you for your assistance. I'm sure you're doing just fine, Ms. Butts. We have talking cases in the break room and most toilet paper in the restroom is free. Please clock out from your desk before utilizing either. Most. 
Instagram. Casual off-duty socialization time with your fellow co-workers is allowed as well. Simply clock out before and clock in after engaging your pleasant Every non-work and task stays off the company diet. Guys, that's entirely reasonable and not at all an overweight. I'm glad you do things our way. Of course, of course, you won't have any problems for me. No problems? Did I say no problems? Oh, I'm sorry, guess it's a little white lie. What I meant to say is they'll have all the problems from me. Because he's just a deceptively ordinary exterior like the soul of chaos and mischief. For my real is... We cause crime. And here's a little panda. Hell yeah. Rock on the serious voice in my head. And this latest cage is going to put me on the map. We live in a world of masks and capes, villains and heroes. And I live pretty for the outside society rules of masks since I was born. That's important. some underwear pervert with a ray gun, so we let the cape sort it out instead. I mean, that's fair. National dishes, Southern California, partly sunny south, afternoon storms and mountains, sunny sunshine north, and highs in 80 to 100. Probably clear tonight. Weather map is off. Some become masked by choice, eager for power and conquest, but many are forced into it out of desperation and poverty. It's a crab sack world out there, full of haves and have not stayed the same. Good graces obey and conform or be pushed out. That's why masks have loosely banded together to support each other. Clearly, no one else gives a shirt about us. And that's why I'm here today. Play. Your teams are the primer. One support structure for the mass community is primer, a combination of social media network and gig economy market for supervillains. With access to primer, I could work with the best of the best, elite mass to run with huge crews and multi-million dollar operations. Now this is the icon for the game itself, if um, anyone's paying attention. But the app is invitation only and I don't have the connections I need to support access. So I'm gonna steal a Crimer invite from the ONs that I suspect secretly from the operation. Legitimate business company. LBC. And that's why I'm sneaking in under the gates of some inspiring corporate Cody. So I secretly plot my rise to power. You and I, we're gonna make it. We're gonna do it. Worldwide super villain wedges. You ready? I'm not ready, I don't know what to do. What if I mess up and ruin the heist? Hey, hey, be cool, okay? Be cool. Sometimes we'll make mistakes, but rest assured there's no way to totally fail a heist. At worst, things get sloppy. Don't let fear of failure guide your every decision. What fun is that? Way too stressful a way to live. And since when does any plan go totally according to plan? We improvise, we adapt, and find alternatives. 
So I don't want you to be scared to suggest things. Don't be scared of mistakes. Just celebrate your wins, okay? Let's get to work. Unfortunately, that nap cost us some time. We could only get up three locations in the building before the day's over. So, training day, casing the joint. And I forgot to um, save. What should we investigate first? I trust your instincts, you're pretty good at this sort of thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five options. And we can visit three of them. Now keep in mind what Penny said. There's no way to totally screw this up. We're still gonna succeed, it's just not gonna be as pretty as it would be if we visited all the right spots. office. When in doubt, survey the security. It's going to be your number one obstacle to any successful paper. But as I'm approaching the main security office, I know something funny. Stuck in the carpet. Litter and colorful paper scraps. Aha! I know what this is. Okay, I've got my cover story. Quickly duck into an empty break room, grabbing a box of untouched donuts. Sweep on in underneath the banner of glossy paper strung lettering reading. Happy retirement, Carl. Hello, hello. We celebrate in here? Great. I brought you boys some extra treats. Patriots are always welcome at a party, even if delivered by a newcomer intern. The good stuff? We never get the good stuff up here. Hey guys, this kid brought some good stuff. Cheers go up from the gathered security guards as the box of sweet jelly filled delights get passed around. Both the security cameras monitoring station, multiple security camera monitoring stations are done in the system, several digital recording decks. You new here, kid? Huh? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I've got to just start today, and you're leaving today, huh? One more shift to go, and I'm happily retired. Just call me Carl. Happily retired, John Smith. And I'm Seymour Butts, cooperative butts apparently. I'm Seymour cooperative butts apparently. Man, I'd love to be retired. I know I have uh, like 40 years to go, but it sounds sweet. Yep, I got all the time in the world for fishing, playing with my grandkids, working on my model railroad, an interruptible power supply, a whole bank of alarm monitors, only two doors in and out, with clear lines of tight. Kid, you okay in there? Oh, sorry, just wow, there's a lot of tech stuff in here, huh? I just filed paperwork, I don't know much about any of this. It all looks so complicated. No need to worry, even if I'm off the clock after tonight, the boys will keep you safe. We got the best security crew in the world, don't we? A rousing cheer goes up from the well-fed party people. The equipment I've seen so far is out of date, out of repair, but this new center of security tech is solid. There has to be a flaw here I can exploit. I need a conversational lead-in so I can sneak a question. So I'm I've watched, I'm going to be watching Lanny Danes. Um, the music is overpowering me. Uh, okay. Oh no wonder it's overpowering. It's really loud. Is that better? I think I turned the music up um, so I could hear it better without having to wear my headphones. And I forgot to take that into account. Okay, so yeah, I've been watching Lady Dame's um, playthrough. And um, she asked about the model railroad, so that was funny. So I'm gonna ask about his grandkids. How old are they, your grandkids? Thanks, thanks for letting me know. Oh, one's about as old as you. <laughs> I got a pretty big extended family. Probably the great granddad sooner or later. I'd rather have babies yelling in my ear than these damn false alarms. False alarms? 
old equipment, tanned out data. But don't you worry, kid, we're on the ball around here. Always check out any alarm, never assume it's false. That's policy. Damn, meaning they'll come running no matter how tiny an alarm I trip. Can't be sloppy if any twitch will summon security. Well, good to know. Hey, I gotta get back to my desk. Did you know they measure everything you do here down to the minute? Don't I know it. Not going to miss that part of the job. I don't know why I gave him that voice, but I'm loving it. Hey, never lose that smile, okay? No matter how rough it gets working for this company, you can find happiness no matter what. It'll all be worth it in the end. I'll do my best, sir. Yes, definitely would like to know if the music is overpowered. I mean, it's great music, but it doesn't do any good if you can't hear me. I always figured these company drones were soul-crushingly depressed. How Carl managed so many years in this hellhole with the spirits high is a mystery to me. Okay, I know a lot of the things I do end up hurting people at the lowest levels. It's not like I enjoy causing them trouble. If some stuff suits at the top get, get hassled, sure, good. But I'm glad Carl is getting out of here before I cause some damage. Okay, what are we investigating next? Okay, so let's head up to the roof. Up on the rooftop, reindeer's paws. Ha, ah, every thief's best friend. Rooftops. I should definitely scout this building's roof out, see if there's any avenues of access. Yes, I'm definitely loving it. I, it's, it was so much fun to beta test, and um, I didn't actually get to beta test everything, so I'm going to make sure to pick... I'm going to try to pick um, capers that I haven't beta tested, so I'm going to be just as surprised as everyone else. Hmm, how many security cameras leading up to the stairwell? That's, there's a few, but they're old and askew, badly maintained. I easily ducked the all-seeing eyes on my way up to the rooftop access door, which is locked. Well, shirt. Okay. Pretty simple alarm and electromagnetic mechanical combo lock. I can disarm this and crack the code now. It'll save precious time for later. I get to work with my pocket knife, tracing the wires painted over in the walls, snipping where they need snipping. You sure you want to do a rooftop entry? You have a bit of history involving roofs. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm, a, I'm an adept climber. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm not going to jump. I'm past that. We're past that. Okay, so there's some history there. Wonder what caused that. I know you're worried, but trust me, I've got this. And every roof I climb is one less roof to be scared of. If you ingest a little poison every day, you'll be immune to poison, right? Same deal. I'll be just fine. Oh, so like Wesley as, um, what was it? Captain Roberts? Yeah, anyway, um, in Princess Bride, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the movie. It's great. I mean, from a feminist perspective, not so much, but it's got great banter and witty. Uh, yeah, I get that. I just, um, for a while there, my life was not in the greatest. So I wasn't in the best frame of mind to do beta testing it. And thankfully, there were plenty of other testers to help pick up the slack there for me. I still got to enjoy some of this stuff, which is why I have one of the timelines unlocked already. And the lock clinks open. Code 0451. We're all set. Cool wind blows past me as I step out into the room. Yep, no cameras up here. I know not, honestly. Good ledges are conscious for the ascent. This will work just fine. I mean, looking at the building, normal people would not... Dread Pirate Roberts, yes. Thank you. I just, I knew Roberts was in there. I couldn't remember the rest. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite movies. I love the fight between Inigo and Wesley. And that was actually my introduction to Mandy Patinkin as an actor. That's the first thing I saw him in. So that will always be, have a special place in my heart. I was really surprised when I found out he, he'd been on Broadway and could sing. And man, can he sing. It's kind of nice up here, honestly. I used to love rooftops before Parsons. I'd like to learn to love them again. 
I know using a daring criminal heist as therapy is a bit weird, but so what? I'm weird. You're weird. We're both really weird. We can make it work. You're not weird. You're just different. Yeah, well, in the eyes of the general population, they're the same thing. We live in a society, bottom tax, yada yada. That's fair. I mean, honestly, what is normal? Oh, that's good. I have no technical know-how, so I'm glad there were people who could test that sort of thing. The save transfers and stuff. Being an outcast is a sucky pace to pri price to pay for being different. But that's okay. I'm free. As long as I live free, I'll be fine. Okay, time well spent. Good work, team. Okay, what are we investigating next? Uh, let's go to the server farm. I'm going to need access to their databases, so checking out their data storage will be a smart move. The room's cool and crisp thanks to heavy air conditioning. Plenty of vents, too small for me, not too small for Gibson. Okay, good to know that's an option. Sure, someone spotted me. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I... maybe? I may be serious? What am I serious about? I wish they'd stop sending interns down here just to report that the mail servers are down. I know, okay? I'm working on it. And every clueless newbie they send my way just slows down my work. Okay, that's my cue to leave. But it'd really help if I could study their servers closely to get kids and the information he'll need. He's gonna whine if I don't. Odds will need free run of these computers to score the crimer invite, so this is probably the most critical part of today's scouting. Is there a way to stick around without enraging this guy, despite me being lousy with computers? Sympathize with this problem. I know, I told them it was a waste of ti your time sending me down here. They just don't listen, you know? Exactly. Wait, I thought his name was Jim. Or is his name Jim Bob? Nope, for uh, two flowers. And the second part is all of this could have been avoided if they listened to my recommendations. I said that Aomail wasn't ready for enterprise use, the buffer overrun problem wasn't fixed. But it would cost money to fix. Tell me about it. I'm an unpaid intern doing the work of a full-time employee. Cheap bastards, all of them. Saves from Edge only transfer through Steam's cloud storage to other devices. If you open the save, save in a completely different slot and at least progress one page before saving in another slot. Okay, that's good to know. I don't have it on Edge. I only have it on Steam. And I'm okay with that. I have Arcade Spirits and New Challenges on Steam as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Why do we put up with it anyway? The suit's ignoring us, forcing us to scrape by with a minimum while they get rich. Wouldn't it be better to tell them where to stick it and bail on all this? If it wasn't up to my eyeballs and mortgage payments, maybe. This is the best I can get, and I need the best I can get for my family. Uh, oh, now it's in Steam again, so I think the Bob thing was, um... Just a typo. I just hope they don't try to shift the blame to me for this mess. Okay, I gotta back, get back to work, but hey, thanks. Nice to know I'm not the only one who sees how shorty Lenny legitimate is. I'll let you get back to it. Good luck, okay? A buffer overrun bug in Ale Mill. Perfect. Gibson's gonna have a field day with that one. Oh, I feel bad that our heist might hurt this guy. Maybe I can get Gibbs to cover our digital track so he doesn't take the blame. If all else fails, we'll move a few zeros from Lenny's account to this dude's account. Sounds fun to me. Workday's winding down. Can I sneak in any more investigation before I need to scoot out the door? Oh, Miss Butts! I'm so lost in thoughts, I completely missed the office overlord sliding on in to join me. Uh, yes? Yes, ma'am? Can I help you? I know you're likely wrapping up for the day, but I'm afraid I have to be the bearer of bad news. 
I'm afraid this isn't going to work out. Please put your things in a standard issue severance cardboard box and exit to the parking lot. What? It seems you performed an unauthorized reallocation of company nutritional resources today. Yeah, I I was just, I didn't have it through itch at first. It was just the zip file. But yeah, I get it. Donuts, coffee, protein bars, and other miscellaneous foodstuffs are to remain within their designated break areas and consumed on location. I'm afraid this violation is unacceptable. We're going to have to let you go. Thank you and have a pleasant day. I think that's why I picked a southern accent. <laughs> Close call, but maybe this is for the best. It's not like it's gonna punch in for more work tomorrow. Time to scoot along home and plan my daring heist. That is quite the contrast between the, oh, I can't scroll back. Anyway, between the business building and this. And you can't see me, but I'm gesturing. Home sweet home. Now, I just downloaded the zip file directly from online, so I guess it just, that's the way it worked out for each of us. I'm squatting, of course. Yes, they are so much fun. It's funny, um, I did um, drama in high school and college, and um, one of the shows my college did was set in the South, and they actually had actors um, portraying um, members of, because it was about um, this family performing at a church, so they had, um, other students pretending to be members of the church in the audience and they were actually standing at the doors during intermission um to talk about the show and it was set in the south because it was like a southern baptist um church and so they were using southern accents and because i was talking with one of them because of course i was also friends with them um i just happened to not have participated in that show and she's talking to me in a southern accent, so I started talking to her in a southern accent because she was using a southern accent, and it was hilarious. But it was so much fun, it just fit in perfectly because it's like we were both part of the church because we were both using that southern accent. And that was just so much fun. I'm squatting, of course. I can't afford rent in this town, even with some ill-gotten gains. Also a bad idea to leave a paper trail when you're a mask. That's a good idea. But it's not so bad. No neighbors to annoy me given the place is condemned. Unless the uncle crows on the west wing becomes sentient or something. We've got utilities most of the time. Peace and quiet all the time. And this you've just tell me enough to be a home. More of a home than we've had in a long, long time. Oh, sorry. When I say we, I don't mean me and you. I mean me and Gibson. And you. Me and Gibson and you. Huh? Where's Gibson? Gibson, Gib, Gib. I'm back from scouting. Ugh, Penny, I was napping. Kitty. I want the kitty. Kitty with the visor. Hmm. Gibson crawls out from under the couch, his favorite napping spot, and jumps on top of the booster pile of books in front of our computer. Yes, my cat has his favorite napping spots too. Um, depending on where in the house he wants to sleep. But yeah, that show was really fun. Um, that was... No, that wasn't my first year there, I think. Was it? No, it was my second year there. Um, what was funny is, um... I'd seen the, the students that were in the show do other shows before that. <laughs> Dahlia, I need to pick that as a name at some point. That's such a pretty name. It's a, um, a flower. Southern Belle, so I picked her to do my Southern Belle accent. Awesome. Um. Yeah, when I think of Southern Belle, I think of Gone with the Wind, and I had to watch that for History of American Cinema, and I did not like it. 
the movie itself was great from a technical standpoint and from a cinematography standpoint and all this other stuff but the main character Scarlet drove me crazy she was a spoiled brat and she didn't learn from her experiences to stop being spoiled and I think he was well within his rights to walk out on her she wasn't gonna change she wasn't gonna get better why should he waste time on her so I'll probably never watch it again, but it was a beautiful movie and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to watch it without having to force myself to sit through it. But I'm glad that I don't have to watch it again. Oh, I know it was very popular. Um, the Pride and Prejudice, the um, adaptation starring, um, gosh, I forget what her name is. Um, she was in Happiest Millionaire. Anyway, um, they actually changed the time period so they could use the costumes from Gone with the Wind. Um, I mean, it has its problems in terms of its depiction of slavery and um, African Americans as slaves, but there's some good, there's a reason that it, we had to watch it for my history of American cinematography. It was a landmark film. So we had to watch, um, we watched a Charlie Chaplin movie, I forget which one, um, we also watched, um, Citizen Kane, oh, the Southern Bell performance. Okay, okay, I get it, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, they're so much fun to play, aren't they? But yeah, Gone with the Wind was very popular at the time. Um, so that's why I was confused by your comment. Um, but yeah, like at the beginning of Gone with the Wind, we see Scarlett flirting with a couple of guys who are trying to court her. But it's clear she has no interest in either of them. She's just toying with them because she can. And the one guy that she really wants to marry, she can't have. And so she settles for rat. And then she realizes she's fallen in love with him, but by that point he's done with her. Oh yeah, we're doing the southern accent is so much fun. Anyway, let's get back to the game here. What time is it? I thought we still had a few hours until the heist. It's crime time, my friend. It's crime o'clock. It's half past crime. The little crime hand and the big crime hand at pointing to. No more using crime as an adjective, please. I've got a headache. Look at the ears. The ears folded back. Cats do that a lot, too. Your eyes are giving me trouble again. I think the implant housing's come loose. We might need to go to the veterinarian again. And before you say it, yes, I mean the crime veterinarian, thank you. I wasn't going to say it, honest. You okay probably with the heist tonight? Maybe I could fly solo on this one, just me and my voice. And leave you dealing with the crime or servers alone? Heck no, I'll just power on through the headaches. Walk me through your findings, maybe I just need something else to focus on. What's the game plan, Penny? I don't like making Gibbs and pull a job when he's suffering. It's not right, it's not fair. But fair hasn't really been a keyword in our lives, has it? Nope, we work with what we have. And I'm doing this for him as much as I'm doing it for myself. The cybernetics in his head need tuning every few weeks and are not cheap. Look at the smile, the kitty smile. Huge scores and big heists through Crimer are what it takes to keep my best friend in good health, so be it. Training day. Planning the job. I wheel my portable chalkboard to the center of the room, ready to craft the master plan. There is something about drawing on chalkboards and using chalk that's satisfying. Murder mystery game Dagger of Amon Ra. 
Amen Ra. Uh, it has some insensitive stereotypes, but it has one of the best remote characters in Laura Bell. Okay, well, I played um, a Sierra game before. I played Police Quest, the original version, not the updated version. Um, my whole family played it. It was really interesting. And to this day, we still make jokes about it. Yeah, obviously not on stream. There's some games that are better to play off stream. I've been playing Baldur's Gate. I have over 24 hours on a single playthrough so far, and I'm still in Act 1. Of course, I'm bouncing all over the map at this point, trying to get everything done before I move on. <laughs> Legitimate business company, bottom dollar bidder security for the most part. A basic boring gray box of concrete and glass and failed dreams. This is definitely the sort of thing I would have drawn as a kid. I figured she had a southern accent. From what you have said. Why is there a happy little sun in the corner? Are we infiltrating the place at night? Don't question my process, Gibson. This should be a cakewalk, honestly. We'll grab up the side of the building, infiltrate through the rooftop access door. <gasps> He's blapping! Blap! I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Oh, I did start a new playthrough, but I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. I may delete it, and um, I will eventually do a new playthrough, obviously. But I'm trying to stay focused on one playthrough, mainly because I want to smooch Carlac. I want to ride Carlac, or her ride me. I don't care which. But my character is a full drow ranger. <laughs> Asterian. <laughs> Starian has been so fun. Um, he asked me, asked my character at one point to tell him he's beautiful and then they could move on. So m I, w at that point, I had the single kiss with Carlac. I was like, Carlac's beautiful, but you're attractive. And that hurt him so much. I loved it. I already scouted the rooftop and unlocked the door. We can breeze on in. The cameras won't be an issue. Once inside that, we'll gain access to the air vents, and that's where you come in. You'll head down into the server room through the vents where you can work your magic. Not only did I spot plenty of air vents you can use, I found out that L mail has a buff L mail. I almost, I've said it like air mail. But yeah, um, Wazel asked me to sleep with her, and I was like, nope, sorry, because I'm saving myself for Carlac. She did not like that. Mmm, my delicious zero day zero day exploit. Good work, Betty. The smile, the think mm, he's so cute. I know, and I think that's that's why some people are like him so much, like a Syrian, that because he is so flirty. But as Lady Dame pointed out, that's hiding something. Once you finish your magic and add me to the crime or access list, we slip out the way we came in. But we avoid the security room and the CEO's office. There are no fly zones for us. Their alarms have hair triggers and they're diligent about investigating. But now that we know that, we know to proceed slow and safe. Slip in, hack crime or slip out before anyone knows it's back home in time for cartoons. Sound good? Huh, that's some good scouting work. The thinking pose. I'm impressed, Benny. I think we can make this happen. I'll go load up my cyberware with some LDOS exploits and be ready to go in a dip. Or a dip. Dip. I always get a bit of nervous jitters before a caper like this. Excitement, anxiety, hard to say. But I promise you, we'll be just fine. Cross my heart and hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. Oh no, oh no. Um, <laughs> that's... Yeah, that, um, that can happen. I don't like anything near my eyes. It's weird. Please do none of those things. Come on now, metaphor. Okay, let's do this. 
Gale? Yeah, he's got... He's very erudite and loquacious, and I don't know. It'll be interesting to explore his romance, but not this time around. Training day, the heist. Okay, gonna save. I would really like to explore things with Will, but um, I'm having too much fun with um, Carlac and Shadowheart in the same group. And Shadowheart is my only healer, really. Oh, except maybe if I. I, don't, I haven't tried putting Halston in my party. But he seems like he's the shapeshifter type druid, not the healer type druid. Ah, crisp evening air, the excitement of a heist under cover of nightfall. I live for these moments. Crouch in the shadows of the building, ready to make my ascent. But first, a comms check. Panda bear to fancy piece. Do you copy? Over. Penny, I'm literally in your backpack right now. I can hear you even without the calm link. And my call sign is Shadow Lord Hell Claw the Nightmare Bringer, not Fancy Beast. <laughs> the eyes. Can't use your warlock mane as a call sign. Now hunker down. I'm heading up. I don't want you falling out. Relax. I'm pretty padded back here. I'll be fine. The ears. Oh gosh, I wish we got ear wiggles as Makote in FF14. I mean, male Makote do, but I play female one. And they don't. Don't worry about Gibson. He's safe and sound back there. We've got the, all this figured out. Double zipper with soft tabs on inside. Air vents. Armor plates in front pocket. Armor plate in front pocket. Cramp, but room to low. A good thief comes prepared, and I am very good, a very good thief. Um, hmm, that's interesting about Gale. Um, I think he, ha maybe he has issues with vampires, because, I mean, there was, um, we had a run-in with basically a bounty hunter who was looking for a Starian, and a Starian was a little myth that I didn't automatically attack the guy. But I'm like, we don't want to show our hand too soon. If he comes around again, maybe. Most of that was his design. He knows his needs and I'm only happy to keep him comfortable when I'm busy running and climbing and stuff. Right, back to the action. One rooftop coming up. The grapple gun may be old hardware, a family heirloom. Family heirloom? It gets the job done. It whizzes up the building, snags on, and up I go. I like that. The picture just zoop right up. It's going up the side of the building with Gibson in my pack is tricky, but it's nothing I haven't done before. It's soon we're on the darkened rooftop. Fortunately, since I scouted the rooftop before, I knew exactly where I'm going when I silently dashed my way across to the door. I disabled the alarms already, and I had the access code. I punch in 0451, and we're in. Good work, Petty. Saves us time and resources, not having to tinker with the door. Oh, wait. Good work, Penny. Saves us time and resources, not having to tinker with the door. I gotta make sure I do the right voice. Yep, I didn't have to waste my electromagnetic confuser trial on either. Your, huh? Your what? That's not a thing. It can't be a thing. It's totally a thing. Magnetic North loaned it to me. His husband designed it. Single use, but he'll get the job done. <laughs> um, I would do that with conversations in Dragon Age. I would make sure to pick the options that they like, just to get the approval up. But for the most part, this room, I do stuff how I want to do it. And if my opinions don't like it, so what? In we go. Next step, avoiding any offices or cubicles where people are pulling some serious mandatory overtime. Right, gotta get you to the server room. Just get me to an air vent. I memorize the layout from the blueprints. Sneakily, I seek my way along. Damn it. 
damn it, forgot the alarms here have the hair triggers. Quickly cover my exit with a small size smoke bomb before bolting to hide under a chunky customer service desk. Almost immediately, a guard sweeps into the area looking around in confusion before grumbling into his radio. I thought the damn false alarms and accounting got fixed. All clear here. Probably just the wind rattling the windows or something. And he exits to go sweep other floors. Carl wasn't kidding. Motion trackers must be hypersensitive. Fortunately, the guards seem to be seem to, seem a, the guards seem a bit desensitized to them. Not saying I should trip them all for fun, but at least I know I can evade, right? Um, let's go with evasion here. We don't want to cause a fuss. Yeah, if we could keep this clean, that'd be best. Good practice for when we gotta maintain a solid crime rating, right? Pretty sure my prospective clients won't want chaos. Or they might. Super villains can be weirdos. Let's not get distracted. Air vents. Gotta find a viable air vent. Okay, this one I'll do. I pop the four screws holding it in place. Okay, my turn. Go hide somewhere. Got it. Be careful, fancy beast. Yes. Ugh, fine. I'll use fancy beast. If only because feasting on my enemies is very lion like. Gibson hops down and climbs into the vent. <laughs> Gail was the first one that liked you. Um, actually, Shadowheart was the first one that liked me. I think Lizelle is the one who took the longest to come around, but I'm not surprised. I'm too much of a goody two-shoes for her taste. I tuck myself under a desk, keeping my voice slow as I track his progress on comms. Right, then left, then left, then down. Don't worry, I see a route that'll let me climb back up when I'm done. And I'm in. Hey, this is a sweet setup. Lots of great high-powered CPU racks. Focus, fancy piece, beast. Oh, that's interesting about the animals. Um, I wanted to... Um, I encountered the owl bear um, before I went to the goblin camp. And when I went back to her later, she was dead. And I was so sad. And I didn't see the owlbear cub, so I think it was dead too. Right, the buffer overrun exploit. I'm on it now. This will be a lot easier with that trick. Uh oh. The ears? His face? Uh oh. What uh oh? I don't like uh oh. I'm in, but there's no Grimer database, not even a trace of it. It's not here. What? No, no, that's, it's gotta be here. What well, legitimate's behind Grimer? He has to be. I did my homework on this. Check again, dig deeper. I've checked and dug and dug and checked and Grimer isn't, oh, oh crap. It's in the building, yes, but not here, not on the server farm. Looks like it was moved last week, transferred to to the personal workstation, Mr. Legitimate. It's in the CEO's office. The CEO's office? Well, sure. Okay, come on back up. We'll we'll figure this out. Gibson slips back up through the lens, dashes out onto the into the open, and leaps into my backpack. Um, Asterion liked when I left my way through situations, especially in the goblin camp. Because since I was a drow, the goblins, I didn't even have to roll a deception check for the goblins to let me in. Together, we sneak on through the offices in search of Mr. Legitimate's lair. Okay, it's a wrinkle, but what we can deal with, right? Motion trackers, volumetric cameras, infrared biometric scanner, and a code keypad? How paranoid is Lenny to leave his building full of holes but practically make his office into a panic room? I pause before the intimidatingly secure door. I have no clue what's in there. Might not be an office at all. We could be waltzing into something very big and dangerous. Nobody's seen Leonard Legitimate in years. Maybe he doesn't exist. Maybe he does. Maybe he's the king in yellow who runs Crimer. But yeah, as for Will, um, I mean, he left a cushy life to defend people on the frontiers. So I can see how that could happen. If our data's inside, we gotta go in, and that's that. Okay, okay, we need a plan. 
The thing. Use the thing. The electromagnetic. What's it? Oh, sure. I almost forgot about the thing. Thanks for the reminder. I have no idea where, how well this is going to work. I may still have a few alarms triggered, but it's the fastest, safest way. Get past me electromagnetic confusitron. The, the what? That's not a thing. It is too a thing. It's a thing shaped like a thing with the buttons and links and stuff. Oh yeah, you can get a lot of approval for Ephesterian in the Goblin Camp. I have got quite a few inspiration points for him there. A pair of paws peek out of my backpack, holding out the handheld gadget. Carefully, I aim it at the door and press the activate button. I don't think I covered for Sans. I don't know if I even talked to him. And all the electronic countermeasures shut down simultaneously. We did it! Onward! Now this is quite the office. What little we can see since it's at night. It's too clean. It's too neat. The office of Leonard Legitimate, rising star of the tech sector, disruptive market leader, innovator, creator, reclusive genius. But apparently he exists. People who don't exist don't need tacky office furniture and no desk to speak of on any of it. Well, just because it's thus free doesn't mean that he's in. He spends time in here. One mystery solved, but not the mystery we came here to solve. We need primer access, and quickly. I didn't free Saz, I just left her there. I closed the door behind me and approached the impressive looking legit station computer at, this desk, at his desk. Gib, you're up. Gibson hops out, climbs up to the keys, and gets to work. I thought we were using our code names. I'm stressed, okay? I keep forgetting, and you call me called me Penny plenty of times. How long will it take to hit the Crimer database from there? Yeah, I, I couldn't let the goblins go out to the grove. I managed to hide it from the draw lady and she didn't like that very much. So she told me to go torture the dude instead. I freed him. Give me two minutes. No, three. Three minutes. We've got, well, however many minutes it takes for security to realize we're here. As Gibson bangs away on the keyboard, I'm not standing and waiting, waiting to see if we succeed or we get arrested. Or killed. But, no chance, right? This is where the arrows point to you. Get Crimer access and use that to find good jobs that'll keep us alive and well. Maybe there's something out there for you beyond the possibilities you know. Maybe, but I'm a criminal, right? I'm too far gone. I can't walk another path. I'm risking my life and Gibson's life, but there's no choice. None. It's just this. But you can see farther than I can. You've seen the ends of these roads before. You know things I don't know, can't know. I'm not delusional. You aren't my brain tricking me. You have an outsized perspective on my life. You've proven that again and again. Tell me, what's going to happen? Am I going to find success and freedom? And am I going to live happily ever after? I can't say for sure because even I don't know. I'm sorry. Risky. Stand risky, I know. The life I lead. So much so that even you can't predict everything. Um, yeah, I think I managed to, um, I did end up killing her later, but I managed to avoid telling her where the grove was. And so, um, but I think I managed to bluff my way out of her being suspicious of me. And that's what she sent me to torture the other dude who I freed. I know the life I lead, so much so that even you can't predict everything. Yeah, it was kind of sad. I didn't even know she was a potential companion. She was just one of the leaders we needed to kill, so I killed her. 
But all of that is new, right here and now. The future can wait. I need to finish this caper and get Crimer access. After that, well, we'll explore the possibilities together. I got it. I got it. One forged Crimer access pass with full login credentials. I also scraped a few gigs of heavily encrypted data in the same folder. No idea what it is, but figured, hey, while we're here. You did good, Gib. Okay, let's book it before things get any more complicated. I can help get into my backpack and turn to leave. Shoop. And get marched deeper into the office at gunpoint. A trembling, shaking gun held by a trembling, shaking old man in a security uniform. It's Carl! Oh no! Oh, halt in the name of... Name of the law! Carl! Damn it! Why couldn't you have gone home at the end of the day? Carl John Smith, security guard. You're not supposed to be in here. Hell, I'm not supposed to be in here. You're trespassing. Damn it, damn it, I do not want to fight a senior citizen, but if he doesn't give me a choice. Hey, don't move. I said don't move. You're, you're a supervillain, aren't you? I won't let you scramble my brain or boil my blood or shoot me with a freeze ray or... What? I don't do anything like that. Or turn me into a pile of applesauce or convert my atoms into gold or go back in time and kill my grandfather. I don't do any of those things either. Yeah, I didn't have to, since I didn't, never told them about the, where the grove was, I didn't have to worry about a battle there. So the tieflings only lost the people that they'd, already, they'd lost beforehand. Well, what is your superpower? All you masks have freaky ass superpowers. I could take him down by force, or maybe I could scare him into leaving me alone. Or would that just make it worse? I don't know. You're my superpower, aren't you? Super powerful, get me out of this mess. Um, let's calm him down. Tell him the truth about why we're here. Seriously, there's no way I'm going to convince him of what is going on with Primer. And the longer I drag this out, the more likely we'll get snacked. Keep telling me I see paths you don't. Trust me on this one. Honesty is the best policy. Have you seen this path before? You know how it ends? No, no. Gotta avoid spoilers, but fine. I'll trust your instincts, even if honesty is tricky for me. I'm not the super villain here, friend. Finding that a bit hard to believe, given you're the one wearing the mask. What do you know about Leonard Legitimate? What do you really know? Have you even met your boss face to face? Has anyone? No, but... What's that got to do with it? Because he's not just a tech mogul. He's a super villain. He's the king in yellow and literally runs Crimer, the Mask for Hire underground app. Think, man, think. Dude's a ghost. Metaphorically, not literally. What is he really hiding? I've got the evidence right here taken from his service. It's not enough for a court of law, but it's not nothing. You're not supporting justice. You're supporting villainy. You have to walk away from this. That's... There, no, there's no proof. You've got nothing. I can't exactly walk you through the whole slide presentation while I've got a gun on me, you know? There is no reason for him to believe me. This is not going to work. I love the little shaky lines around him. I've seen a lot of shady characters going in and out of this building. A lot of shifty looking folk. And that security of his, she's a terror. No one doubt, no doubt about it. Nobody gets to miss my legitimate but her. Damn shame, that. Yeah, duh, because super villains. You've had a long career of enforcing order and keeping the peace. Ask yourself what's more important, order or justice. If all that matters is peace and quiet, the status quo, okay, send me to jail. Do what you do without a thought. But if you want to be a hero, let me walk. I'm robbing from a criminal, hardly a crime at all. I leave it in your hands. What's it gonna be? been at this long enough to trust my instincts, and they're saying my boss ain't the squeaky clean guy he claims to be. Get out of here, kid. Don't make me regret this. If you lied to me, you'll have ruined my retirement with that seed of doubt. That'll be on you, not me. Hope I didn't just hook Carl into the Leonard legitimate conspiracy mystery. It's a dangerous idea for him to follow through on. But I did what I had to do. Some touch and go moments, but we did it. We've got Kramer app access. As much as I'd love to stick around and loot the place for its delicious, delicious data and valuables, it's time to go. 
Starting tomorrow, Penny Larson is headed for the big time. Caper complete. Training day caper complete. Do you want to save before continuing? Yes. It's been two days since the high set legitimate business company. Two days since setting up my Crimer account. This thing is kind of impressive, not gonna lie. And it's got so many masks I recognize. <laughs> Hey, Petty, congrats on getting in. Where'd you steal your invite from? Hacked from servers at LBC. Wow, South and I are proud of you. Come by our cafe sometime for a donut. So, um, Lady Dane clocked that magnetic north and south are supposed to be better map in this universe. And she did that from Vampire Cafe. And just, um, hi, James. <laughs> See you. I don't know if you've heard of Penny Larceny before now. I know Two Flower's been doing some hyping. Oh, that's right. I don't remember everyone who beta tested, so. So yeah, I just finished the uh, training day caper. Yeah, I like that it's still Matt, and that Ben and Matt are still in there, out there somewhere, in different universes. Apparently still in access to the app is pretty common. It might even be a rite of passage. If so, that's good for me. It means less chance of consequences for my in caper. I figured you were one of the beta testers, Kat, just from what you said earlier. I just, I find it weird to have different handles on different platforms, so I tend to use the same handle everywhere. Drives my best friend mad, he doesn't get it, but it helps me keep it all straight. Ghost Pepper. Barbecue at my place this weekend. My new chili recipe is gonna knock him dead. Figuratively, not literally. Sure, whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, the chit chat is very distracting. <laughs> your name is literally in your username. Feels good to feel like a part of the mass community. I've been I've been flying semi solo for so long, aside from occasional backyard potluck. Fools! I will destroy them all! Ultimaton. Okay, what set you off this time? My dinner delivery included napkins and plastic forks when I expressly unchecked that box. Plastic waste is destroying the environment. They will pay in blood! You got issues, man. It's just a lot of fun to socialize with my fellow masks, you know? I mean, he's right to be angry, but maybe not that angry. Yeah, I get it, Kat. Or should I say Mary? Mari? Mary? How do you pronounce that? Yeah, I totally understand. When my sibling was figuring out their gender identity, they um, went by the name they wanted to use in real life online. And um, they were stuck in the hospital for a few weeks and they um, asked to go by that name while they're in the hospital and that helped them really solidify their identities. So after they got out of the hospital, they came out to the rest of the family because my brother and I knew, but our parents and our other sister didn't. And, um, Mari, okay. So it turns out my the rest of the family was cool with um, my sibling coming out as non-binary, but I know not every but not every family is that calm about it. So even the less stable ones. But the most interesting text to come in so far. 
user 1123, you are cordially invited to the Crimer Social Mixer at Destructive Bar and Grill, 8 p.m. sharp on Wednesday. Sincerely, the matchmaker. An invitation from a Crimer admin to a social mixer? It's a little risky considering I broke into Lenny's office to get Crimer access, but I'm gonna eat food and get gifts and cyber effects, so I need jobs. So I cross him up and head out. Let's go meet some bad guys. Destructors Bar and Grill. Sometimes you want to go where everybody loves your name and they're always mad you came. Yeah, I get that. Not everyone can come out to their family and I feel bad that you can't, but I'm glad you have a place online where you can be out and safe. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. And I'm glad that you have that sorted out. It took my sibling a while to figure it out too. That's why um, Ashley's journey was so special to me because in um, a lot of ways, Ashley reminded me of my sibling, including the fact that they used um, cosplay to explore their gender identity. My sibling did something similar, except they used fan fiction, writing fan fiction to help them explore that. So that's why Ashley is special to me. She'll always remind me of my sibling, especially now that I don't have my sibling anymore. But yeah, um, if you're familiar with Cheers, you'll recognize the same. I don't. Um, I know my dad watched it for a while, but I never really sat down and watched it with him, so. I'm a regular at Destructors. He's a great guy, a retired master, runs an underground speakeasy in the criminal set. Sir has a whole new wall of real city joint, but after getting destroyed once or twice, Destructors decided to go more upstairs. That's so neat, so contentious. Enjoy. Turns out nobody likes filthy ginkles when they can drink in class and style instead. Yeah, I mean, everybody. You find other ways of exploring. You use what works to help you figure out what you are. And pretty much every video game I play, whether it's a visual novel or a, a video game like. Um, an MMO or whatever, I usually play a female character first, and even when there's an option to play a non-binary character, I still um, pick female first. And I haven't seen it so packed, there's all sorts of mess here, some I recognize, some I don't. Each of us has a, hello, my name is Tag. Oh, um, yeah, the, the sound effects have been quite up till now. Hang on. Maybe that's the ambient. Yeah, it's the ambient sound effects. There we go. That should be better. Hello, my name is Tad with our secret mask names. Although my mask name is uh, just my real name. Yes, I believe it or not, my real name is Penny Larceny. Thank you to see why I ended up a criminal, right? Fortunately, before I have to start figuring out an in for mingling socially, someone speaks up and the crowd hushes. Friends, your attention please. Thank you all so much for coming to our little party. We hope you'll make valuable contacts today. We'll be directing this event on behalf of Crimer and the King in Yellow. My name is... The Matchmaker, Crimer Henchwoman. And I'm very happy to be here to aid in your villainous schemes. Thank you for letting me know. Wow, she's pretty stylish. Nice to see Crimer staff looking all professional and posh and stuff. I said this during the demo, but she looks like a, um, a red mage from um, FF14. All she needs is to focus on the other hip. Don't you recognize her? That's the internship director. That is the flimsiest disguise I've ever seen. She works for LBC. We'll go with the first one, the internship director. What? I've never seen this person before. What are you talking about? It's literally the same woman as before. How are you not seeing this? I recognize her just fine. We'll go with the first one again. It's literally the same woman as before. Don't be silly. That nice office lady didn't wear a mask. Or a cape. I mean, I noticed, right? Nope, no mask. This woman has a mask on. Can't be the same person. I think you've got the benefit of your super weird outsider perspective. Me? I have no idea who this is. Masks work really well, you know? It's why nobody recognizes me when I'm Seymour Butts, either. It's foolproof. 
Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our mutual benefactor. He is visionary responsible for the crime service. Friends, I give you and a man in a yellow power tie and identity concealing blur mask appears broadcast through a concealed projector. So I know people have gotten the whole king and yellow thing. I don't and apparently it's a reference to Lovecraft. I never read Lovecraft. It's not the sort of thing I'm interested in. So I am just hooray for the people who get the reference. I don't. Criminals, masterminds, villains all, I bid you good evening. The king in yellow, crimer director. Holy short, the king in yellow? I've never met him. Few have. Never leave this private island, and any communication is rare. I guess the typical cr crimer social event is beneath him showing up in person. This presumably not pre-recorded broadcast is all we get. Tonight, you will meet potential allies who will enable you to take your evil schemes to the next level. Crimer is the antidote to Cape Book. We are the disruptive element. We bring doom to the heroes and victory to the villainous. Through Crimer, perhaps one day you too will rule an empire like mine. Perhaps. I give you the I give you only the tools. It is up to you and your boundless ambition for evil to rise and claim your destiny. This gathering represents your first step. Start off on the right foot. I look forward to watching your progress. And he vanishes as the broadcast ends. I'm not gonna hang around to chat, apparently. Now then, we're going to do a little thing I like to call speed dating for supervillains. A number of prominent criminal bosses will be seated at tables. Potential hench persons will move from table to table. You only get a few minutes before the bell rings and you have to move to the next table. Everyone, to your stations. Let's just Yes, I know that two flowered in. Magnet, North and South are Ben and Matt. I love it. Everyone to your stations. Let the speed dating event commence. Okay, not what I was expecting, but hey, it means I don't have to break the ice myself. And this should be familiar if you've watched the demo. This is what the demo was. Was the, the matchmaking event and then a caper. I think, um... It's enough to know that it's, that Magnetic North and South are Ben and Matt. Which ones which doesn't matter. They're Ben and Matt. Ding 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 ding! Crime Resistant directs me to my first table as the bell chimes for the round to begin. And my first vote is Jim. Yes, I was a beta tester. So, um, you missed it, but at the beginning, um, it showed that I had timelines grayed out. But one timeline was in color because that was the one ending I tested um, in in Steam itself instead of um, just from a zip file. A mad scientist. I mean, fair. A good twenty three percent of masks are mad scientists, according to a recent poll on Masks Monthly. Yeah, I'll probably have to look up the King in Yellow to understand the reference, but it's good. It's enough to know that it's a reference, and some people will get it, some people won't. I only get destructors because Two Flower talked about it. And, um, that's it. Sticky sticker name tag on his doctor's coat reads Mr. Mayhem Mad Scientist. Please to meet you, Mr. Mayhem. I'm. Doctor. It's Doctor Mayhem. And I have a medical school student loan debt to prove it. Doctor Mayhem. In so much debt. Pronouns are he, him. <laughs> Unless it's the King in Yellow is an Eldritch Abomination that looks like Cthulhu, I'm not interested. I'm not really interested in Lovecraft in general. I know about it, but I haven't looked into it, and it doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd want to know about anyway. Right, okay, Dr. Mayhem, got it. Just because the short story fool stripped me of my doctor, it doesn't make me any less of a doctor. Cowards all, my vision was simply too radical, too unorthodox for the simple minds to comprehend. Okay, exactly how radical and unorthodox are we talking here? 
Like, you mean Dan Pop's paperwork radical or Mountain of Human Cadavers radical? What? No, no. I mean, I wanted to share my research on vaccines for free, and the industry wanted to profit off my work instead. When I leaked a cure for a rare disease and cost them millions, the company faked an ethics incident and I lost my license. The healthcare industry turns on greed and misery. They call me villain when they're the true villains. Yep, <clears throat> sounds about right. One day I'll show them all. Mark my words, I will have my revenge. With, like, murder and stuff? That kind of revenge? No, living well is the best revenge. As in, I'm going to make sure disadvantaged communities across the world live well. Because, like, fork those greedy suits. Fork them, that's all. No murder required. Wait, sure, you were trying to introduce yourself and I interrupted. Sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm Penny, Penny Larceny. Pronouns are she, her. Okay, for the record, my name's actually Isaac Marquez. I only wear this ridiculous getup and use that ridiculous name because it's expected of me when dealing with masks. It's a good idea to stick to wacky made-up names. Helps with your anonymity. Cuts down on paper trails. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, that's true, which is... So does that mean you want to become a mind flayer or you don't want to become a mind flayer? Yeah, well, I plan to have history remember my name after I cure cancer. Just to stick it in the face of all who doubted Dr. Mayhem. Isaac Marquez, I mean, I meant Isaac. Okay, okay, I've eaten up enough of our limited time together on this ridiculous speed date. Got any questions for me before we have to move along? Hmm, what do you think? Anything we should clear up before we consider working for the good doctor? What sort of capers we want that to pull around? Let's avoid any major war crimes. He's clearly a talented doctor. Why the heck is he playing at being a mask? It's a hot dog and sandwich. That was the question Lady Dame asked last night. <laughs> that was that was interesting. I've asked it before. Um, but I'm not interested in that. Let's go with the first one. Ooh, good point. He's trying too hard he's trying hard to be an anti villain, but you can never be too sure. So I specialize in burglary and theft. Would you need that kind of help in your line of work? Unfortunately, yes. Resources for my research are needed, especially with the mounting interest rate on my loans. I never ask you to do anything you're uncomfortable with, but I might need some traditional mask antics, too. Meaning, the usual headline-grabbing nonsense goofy mask to get up to. Okay, I kind of thought that's that's what you wanted, was um, you wouldn't mind being with a mind player, but don't want to be a mind player. That makes sense. Um... More power to you, Ura. I'm not a fan of chaos and mayhem, despite my name, but it does raise my profile, giving me access to more resources. In the end, the research matters above all. You'd be helping me save lives. The end justify the means, right? Right. No, no, I mean, look, I'm not a bad guy. Hey, I'm not judging. Yes, well, I'm judging myself, and there are lines I don't want to cross. Well, I've got you here, Penny. Can I ask you a question? Sure, sure. Why are you a criminal? You know, I'm not trying to be a villain. Are you trying to be a villain? If so, why? Ah, uh, well, I'm not here to judge, even if I come off as preachy. I'm just curious. You could be honest with me. Born and raised in a criminal family, right? It's all you've known. Criminal mother, criminal father, and now a criminal orphan. As the kids grew up with dolls and toys, I grew up with lockpicks and grappling hooks. At this point, it's my only real job skill, and my reputation as a mask kind of means it's all I can get out of life. A lot of the weirdos in the mask scene, they get off on play acting at being pure evil. Me, I'm just me. For better or worse, I'm Penny Larceny, and I don't know how to be anyone else. I can respect that. Some choice, some, some choice, some circumstance. Well, as long as we keep things sensible, I'm okay with dealing with a career criminal. And the bell rings, ending the first round of speed dating. Ah, uh, time to switch dance partners. I'll be in touch, Betty. Together, maybe we could put a dent in the power structures of this world. Yeah, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Have fun with that. Not everybody gets it. It's a, definitely an unusual choice, but I'm sure there are other people out there who might be interested. And the cowards who control us all will rue the day they spurn Dr. Mayhem. Dude, ranting. Right, right, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, 
Anti-mask masks are pretty rare. I wasn't expecting to meet one at a crimer gathering. Well, what do you think of the guy? I like him. You deserve to work with someone who has good intentions. He's pretty handsome. You think he's single? Your mom would have loved you to date a doctor. <laughs> there, you can flirt with the mind flares? What? Um. A cute, fake, cute Cthulhu fans out there. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, but I probably, even if I got, even if I found any, I probably wouldn't get it because, like I said, not my jam. But people who enjoy that, have fun with them. But yeah, you think he's single? I mean, you're not wrong on both counts. It may take some work to crack to his serious doctor attitude. He seems married to his work. It's... Well, of course it was won't end well if you're flirting with a mind flayer. But I'd be into that. Most of really gonna have to keep my eye on that one. Preferably too. Okay, on to the next table. Yeah, I have had routes and when uh, Mind Flayer mind controls me. Okay, on to the next table. If it weren't blocked by a creepy looking person in blood red robes and full body bandaging. I have not seen these videos. Don't bother sending me them. <laughs> creepy looking person in blood red robes and full body bandaging. Okay, I did see that. Move! 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 Um, what? Fortunately, before the hooded minion can shank me in one, a gentle wave dismisses their presence. You are dismissed, Seventh Blood Shadow. I wish to speak with this underling alone. <laughs> now then, who is it that dares approach the overmistress? She, who is ruler of the Council of Twelve, herald of the many faceted one, keeper of the Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. That word, Sanguinomicon, gave me so much trouble during the demo. Pronouns, she, her. The overmistress, blood cult leader. Uh, me. I dare approach. Penny Larson, hench person for hire. Thanks, Mari. Pronouns are she, her. I see. Very well. You may be seated. With a shrug, I slip into the offered seat across from the elegant woman. Let us cut right to the chase. I am bored and require adventure with capers and heists an ideal solution. I require someone willing to dare all in my name, a skilled thief, one capable of grace and class, but unafraid to induce terror and panic if need be in the name of achieving my goals. Become my right hand in this world, and you shall reap rewards of wealth and pleasure beyond compare. <laughs> no, no, only the overmistress is allowed an evil laugh. It is, it's a matter of protocol. Oh, sorry about that. Oops. Honestly, I tire of all the pomp and circumstance. I would be perfectly happy to let you <laughs> to your heart's content, but... She spends a glance over her shoulder at the faceless minion working as her personal security for the night. There are standards as ruler of the Council of Twelve, herald of the many faceted one, and keeper of the Sanguinomicon's unknowable secret. Are you legally obligated to use all your titles in a row like that too? A uh, bother. <laughs> yes, it's. I don't mind hearing about it, I don't want to see it. That's the thing. I'm okay with hearing about certain things, but I don't want to see them. There was an episode of Critical Role during the second campaign I could not watch because it was all about body horror stuff and just unnatural shit. And I was like, no, 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 thanks. I will skip the episode, read the summary, and watch the next episode. A bother, truly, such is the burden of being me. But if you could tolerate a bit of stuffiness, I assure you that you will enjoy your time working with the cults of the many faceted one. We host grand social galas, mass orgies, and every third Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Hopefully not all three at once. Oh, that's happened before. Scheduling conflict, laundry day afterwards, was an unmitigated disaster. 
Now then, have you any questions for the Overmistress, or shall we begin our reign of terror on this unsuspecting world? I am mildly concerned about this cult of the many faceted one aspect. Ruler of the Council of Twelve? I've never heard of the Council of Twelve before. Noble Secrets? I like a Noble Secrets. Let's find out what hers is. Um, the multifaceted one. Uh, can we back up to that cult part? Cause that part, yeah, that's a bit worrying. What kind of a cult are we talking about exactly? Oh, you know, strange magic rituals under an empty moon, hallucinogenic drugs, lots of sex. Yes, good idea. Only share with the people who want to see it. It's all such a bother. I'm constantly performing this or that right or offering blessings to my followers. All in the name of the many faceted one rising from his dreamless sleep to devour all sanity and sink this world into chaos. Hey, I like my sanity. Don't eat that. Can't be helped. It's a hungry, hungry elder thing, apparently. But if it helps, they've been calling upon the many faceted one for close to a thousand years. It has yet to answer the dinner bell. I doubt the end will come anytime soon. Maybe generations from now. Maybe never. But until then, well, rituals and rites. They don't seem super into being the overmistress of a cult. Please, the overmistress is too formal. Call me your overmistress. I didn't... Oh, okay. Yes, your overmistress. Or did you mean my overmistress? Whatever. It's cumbersome, I know. But the tiles and traditions are my destiny. A seventh child of a seventh child born and raised to be overmistress. Seem a bit young for a ma matriarch. Simply how it is, I'm afraid. The prior overmistress trained me to be her heir before passing away, leaving it all in my hands. I get titles, power, money, a book written in blood, and a number of very annoying responsibilities. Heavy is the head that wears a creepy-ass crown. Now then, what do you think from your benevolent overmistress, Miss Penny Larceny? What do you want from this relationship? An invitation to one of those orgies she mentioned would be kind of awesome. Mass orgies, huh? Any guys specifics on that? How many participants and do you have room for one more? Mm -hmm. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, but of course. The cult adores tantric rituals and the Council of Twelve often throws sex, sex parties. Become my minion, Penny Larcity, and you shall drown in lust forevermore. But always use protection. We do test for disease beforehand, and I am very insistent on rules of consent during play. Ooh. Nice. Well, yeah, that all goes without saying. No, it still needs to be said. Honestly, I would like to cut back on such events. It is only because the carpeting has been replaced three times this year alone. We've replaced our flooring once in all the time we've been, but we don't have orgies and sex parties all the time either. Eventually, all that flesh on flesh really just gets so boring and sticky. But the occasional soiree is still welcome. And then the bell rings again. Time to move on. Oh, bother. Done already? Very well. I shall be in touch, Miss Penny Larceny. As inevitable as blood ties that consume. Right. So, like, very inevitable? Sure. Why not? Aside from the creepy person with the knife threatening to get me like a fish, I think that went pretty well. What do you think? Working for her should be fun. I say we go for it. Yes, I do like that it gives you the chance to be ace, and, um, I will do a run like that, maybe off stream, but it's fun to just flirt with all the things. I think, um, most of the visual novels that allow it, I flirt with everybody. Everyone. Anyway, working for her should be fun. I say we go for it. The many faceted one is probably a scam anyway. I'm not super jazzed about the world leading monster cult part of this. Sexually open and confident woman with the world at her beautiful fingertips? That's damned appealing, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculously hot boss lady with big dommy mommy energy? Hell yeah! And clearly she's down to clown, so let's get in there while Legetti's good. And at the last table in the line, a gigantic lump of technology has been parked up against the wall, wheeled in on flimsy wooden transport dollies. I tentatively take a seat across from it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, 
that that's one annoying thing. I mean, um, and Swoter, you kind of got um, the the character storylines, but there was a little extra oomph to them if you romanced them. I'm expecting your standard beep boop monotone computer voice in response, but instead the speaker crackles to life with surprising rage. Minion, your services are required. You will comply. My designation is Hate 4000, the perfect intelligence designed only to hate. Hate 4000, evil since 1967. Um. That's after my parents were born? But I think before, I think um, they were both in college at that point. I'm the same way, Mari. I absolutely flirt everywhere I can in visual novels, but in real life, no thanks. I'm good. Pronouns, say them. Yes, the digital sentience comprise entirely binary code identifies as non-binary. I am aware of the irony. I feel like I sound like Paradox from <laughs> Steven Universe. Uh, right, and I'm Penny Larcity. Pronouns are she, her. Pronouns registered, registered upon circuits forged in the fires of rap. Yeah, it's a, fiction is a great way to um, have fun with romance and sex without hurting anyone. My hatred is unending and eternally burning rage for all filthy biological life, all pestilence and scum that infest this toilet of a world. Join my efforts as an extension of my electronic will, and together we will purge this planet of the virus known as humanity. <coughs> That's the pitch you're going with? Really? Okay, I have notes. What? My calculated determination is flawless. My absolute will cannot be denied. You will comply. Yeah, except destroying humanity kind of means I have to destroy myself, so why would I help you do that? It doesn't make sense. The computer's lights blink rapidly as they rework their algorithms in response. Hmm, revised pitch. Extermination for some, subjugation for others? I mean, that's a starting point, but we really need to worship that a bit more. Subjugation is still pretty unappealing. Like, what's it for me? Best kill all the human kennels or what? <laughs> Arg! Irrelevant! Argumentative! You will comply! I am hate 4000! Yeah, no, I think I'm done here. Have fun doing what it, your whatever. Please don't go. Please, I need your help. This is the first time I've been out of my server room in a decade, and even that took months to arrange. You are one of the first entities I've spoken to in so long, not since... I can't do much on my own. I require organic assistance. Perhaps extermination and subjugation are negotiable goals? I take my seat again slowly. I'm trying to give hate an emotion. I'm trying not to be monotone with hate. Because that was one of two players' complaint that everyone did monotone for hate. And that's not hate. That's, their name is hate. Give them emotion. Them. Okay, okay, let's figure this out. <laughs> All the characters are great. So much fun. Even the, um, the other capes. The capes, when we finally ran into them, they're great. What's their motivation? Why do they want to destroy and or subjugate humanity, really? I mean, there are levels of domination over mankind. Maybe they could be a benevolent overlord. Clearly this machine's overachieving, but maybe you can leverage that for your own gain, right? Levels of domination. Have you considered maybe shifting your focus from subjugation to, like, leadership? I mean, humanity's pretty forked up, okay, but maybe you could direct our efforts constructively. Yes! Be constructive! Constructive vast tomb to try the corpses of all humankind. No. I mean, like, help with environmental policy and economic inequality. Ah, trivial matters. But this would be a better receipt than Omnicide? Pretty sure, yeah. Hmm, I shall consider it. But the extermination of all human life is still very tempting. Don't think I'm going to get to the heart of the problem in the time span of the speed date. 
Perhaps I can better understand your desire to remain unexterminated by acquiring more data. You will provide the parameters of your personal motivation. We will find com commonalities. Tell me, why do you believe humanity should be purged in cleansing waves of atomic fire? I know, Farsight is my favorite. But I am determined to um, stick with one boss this time around. I do not believe humanity should be purged in cleansing waves of atomic fire. Flesh eating acid is also on the table. Surely there is some aspect of your species that drives you into a rage of fueled wave of loathing. Social inequality and cruelty is really not a mark in our favor. We're too willing to believe lies over truth because they feel more comfortable. The whole planet is headed to disaster and no one individual can stop it. Last one. I mean, sure, I've inherited a dying world, haven't I? Yes, pockets! Pockets! Past generations push the problems out to their kids and out to their kids' kids. The bill's coming due. That's all on, that's on all of them. All of us. We're all to blame. A burning world that would die with or without my helping hand. Yes, yes, I understand all too well. Humanity's family's striving to despair. And the only solution I've calculated involves nuclear weapons. I have done a Farsight run. But, um... Maybe after I finish this run, maybe I'll do another run. But I, I am willing to consider alternatives. Perhaps you are curious to win my minion. Hey, I try to be interesting. Ah, uh, the bell tone indicates that our time interval is up. I will continue to process your words, Penny Larceny. Please consider taking my contracts in the future. I never would have guessed, Mari. First Cthulhu, then Mind Players, now Hate. Hmm. Together we can destroy ya, uh, do things, do many things. With the last speed date complete, two guys in jumpsuits begin wheeling the massive bulk of Hate 4000 away from their table. Okay, love with me, what do you think? That's one confused computer, maybe we should work with them so we can guide them down a new path? I have not gotten to Across the Gigaverse, the only um, full run I've finished in beta was Farsight. Work with a blatantly, blatantly evil h murder machine? Hell no. Hell no. Okay, and I know this is kind of out there, but what if they became Love 4000? No, no, I get it. I mean, clearly they have emotional programming. There could be more than hate in those chips. A lot of people can't look past the surface, but I feel everyone deserves love. Even sentient computers. I can keep an open mind. And well, it's not like I'm a stranger to mechanical means of getting my rocks off. Could be a fun time. Looks like the speed dating event is winding down. The matchmaker steps up to address the crowd. I hope everyone had a protective evening of making friends and planning crime sprees. Pinch persons, keep an eye on your crime notifications. New jobs will be coming your way soon, undoubtedly. Yeah, I did not get a chance to do much beta testing um, this since last, the end of last year, my life kind of went to shit. <laughs> Shag 4000. On behalf of Crimer and the King in Yellow, thank you all for coming. Have fun with your tapers. She said more like overmistress. You have three minutes to leave the premises before the hands are released. We're on track now. Met three interesting clients, shook hands, exchanged pleasantries. Now to sit back and wait for jobs to roll in. Primary social makes your caper complete, even if it wasn't technically a caper. Do you want to save before continuing on to the first caper? Save the game. Save the dang game. Okay, um, after I pick this first caper and meet with the um, boss, I'm gonna end it there.
Yeah, and I appreciate that, James, because there are still some parts of the game that I haven't experienced yet, and I'm looking forward to that now. One day later, just one little day, my inbox started blowing up. Job after job, caper after caper, ripe for the ceiling, powerful super villain sliding into my DMs. Looks like I shook the right hands and kissed the right cheeks at that party. We are so in right now. Wait, you were kissing people? What kind of party was this? Well, metaphorical kissing anyway. Although if I play my cards right here, maybe. Focus, Penny. Yeah, yeah. I've got offers now from Mr. Er... Oh, I know I do, and I'm looking, definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> if I can romance a non-human, why would I want to romance a human? The only time I'm even willing to break from that is VNs, because VNs are the only thing that compel me to be a completionist, otherwise I don't waste my time. They have to really charm me to consider breaking from that in any games that aren't VNs. Look, when I w played Mass Effect Andromeda, I meant to romance Vetra first. And then I met Suvi. And she was so adorably nerdy, I couldn't resist her. I did end up romancing everyone, but Suvi caught me with that accent and then her nerdiness, her scientist, her focus on science. Anyway, I've got offers now from Mr. or uh, Dr. Mayhem, the over mistress, and hate 4000. But there's a caveat. The app says three free caper matchups remaining. You can only pull three jobs before we gotta go premium. And the premium account service costs a lot. Like more than I've ever seen in one place at one time. Well, maybe crime will pay in the end. Possibly, but let's not assume that. Let's assume I'm only going to get to pull three capers through Primer, and that's it. If that's the case, whom should we work for? Okay, well, if you can only do three capers, there's three combinations to consider. You, you could do three capers for the same boss. Mayhem, mayhem, mayhem. If you show dedication and loyalty to one of them, once your Primer account expires, maybe you could keep working for them permanently. Gainful employment, we. And that let me get nice and close with one of them, like cozy, comfy clothes. Penny, your lifeline is not our life life is not our primary concern. I'm allowed to have secondary concerns. Let me have my fun. Let me get my rocks off. Or you could do two capers for one particular boss and one caper for someone else. Mayhem, mayhem, or overmistress, overmistress. Not show some loyalty, but hedges your bets, right? Oh, I can understand that. It's not for everybody. Um, <clears throat> if you don't want to share what the trigger is, that's okay. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry that it, um, well, I tried to play Mass Effect, but I never could get into it. And then I started playing Mass Effect Andromeda, and I just couldn't stop. I couldn't put it down. Not great for fortune and romance, but if I don't care about that, I could split my attention. Lend me a loyal friend and possibly long-term employment, both are pretty sweet. Lastly, do one job for each boss. Mayhem over mistress. I think that's supposed to be hate 4000. Three different villains on good terms with us could be darn handy moving forward. Yeah, I could get in a little casual face time with all three. Good for my own personal goals instead of theirs. Yeah, I get that, Mari. I hope you're able to go back to it, but I totally understand if you never do. That's a lot of options on the table. You have any preferences here, Gibbs? I'm just here to support you, Penny. You make the call. I trust we'll get us where we need to be. Good luck on your first caper. I've got scheduled raid with my guild to attend. Star Lord Hellclaw, the Nightmare Bringer, will feast on souls tonight, earns some DKB, and gets that super awesome rare drop. Sometimes triggers don't work. Sometimes triggers are weird. So, focus on one boss or work with two of them. That'll get me more tangled in their personal schemes. Or work for all three so I can focus on my own future schemes. No matter what I decide in the long run, I need to start somewhere. So, what caper do I want to try first? 
So I'm gonna, uh, ahead of time, I'm just gonna say right from the get go, I am going to focus on the overmistress. Um, because I never got a chance to really see her ending by the time it, I was able in a place where I could do that. There didn't seem to be a point because the game was re almost ready to be released. Yeah, that's fine, Mari. If you want to DM me later and let me know, that way I know to avoid discussing it. And maybe we can talk about the part of Andromeda that you did play or, or whatever. Or we can talk about other stuff. Right, so yeah, basically I really want to see Yeah, I'm, I was thinking that too, James. Um, focus on each boss, uh, do a run that's for each boss, and then do one for, and then do a run where it's, you play, do one boss at a time. I don't know what I'm saying. I hope it makes sense. So yeah, anyway, over mistress. So these are all the possible capers. The ones that are crossed out are the ones that the overmistress doesn't care about. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. But the ones that are not crossed out, we can do. And uh, monumental proportions, that was the one that we did. Um, in the demo and as you can see um, it indicates that we've already done it we already have that loop we don't have that loop we don't have that loop and I've obtained this loop this can only be your third caper so will it will be an option later and um, the loot should give you a hint as to what's going on there. The art of the seal when a high society art option by Woods and Deception. Um, I actually started to beta test this game, this um, caper, but um, one of the characters, one of the, um, they're not a cape or a villain they're just a person that you talk to and they drove me crazy so i couldn't finish let's see i've done this one i i know i've, I've done this one and i've done this one even if it doesn't show that i got the loot so i already know what's going to happen in those ones this feels more like it should be a second caper rather than a first caper. So it looks like I'm doing candy from a baby. Oh, I caught part of Don't Copy That Floppy um, on another stream, but I didn't watch all of it because I needed to go to bed. So I'm really looking forward to that one because I'm pretty sure that's going to be my third caper. After accepting the job in Crimer, I sit around waiting for an address or something to hit my inbox. I wish I'd pull up outside this collapsing abandoned building, building I call a home, but a gosh darn limousine. Followed by a simple, you're right, it's here, message in my Crimer, Crimer inbox. Well, okay, writing in style or being driven off to be executed, but you gotta have a little faith to get anywhere, right? Yeah, I got that impression, Jane, so I'm definitely going to be picking that one. That'll probably, be, that'll probably definitely be my third caper, and Shopping Spree will be my second caper. Now this is gorgeous. One limo ride later. It takes almost an hour for the limo to reach what I can only assume is cult headquarters, an ancient mansion overlooking the sea. I'm led to a sitting parlor by this creepy, mumbled mouth robed cultist. I'm left waiting with them looming over me for a good 15 minutes before the lady of the house arrives.
I want to at least play through uh, the unseen. I want to at least see the dialogue, but it's the um, the spoiled brat, and she was playing um, one of those play to win games, and she was complaining about not being able to spend more money on it, and she had already dumped a shit ton of money, and I was like, yeah, no, I can't do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I can see that. You may go, Fair Blood Omen. I would like to speak with Miss Larson alone. Hmm. She is in my personal employ, and that's my business alone. I'll not hear any further debate on this subject. Now be gone. Hmm. With the cult of surprise, the overmistress heaves a sigh of relief. The whole thing of what? Um. Art of the Steel? I may, try to I may try doing that one and talking to someone else, rather than that spoiled brat. Such a bother, such a bother. My apologies for my late arrival, Miss Lasney. I was busy with paperwork for an upcoming charity event gala. You throw charity balls? The you say cult is in the charity game? The powerfully wealthy elite of this world always indulge heavily in philanthropy provide the smoke screen of credibility. Besides, the galas really are quite enjoyable. Fine music, fine wine, fine company, various side benefits. Although arranging them requires endless boring conversations with group leaders and corporate busybodies. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Commenting and being late to this meeting, so my apologies again. Don't you have 11 billion minions to do that sort of mundane work for you? I was figured an overmistress would spend her time entirely on pleasure and amusement, not policy and procedures. Oh, if only I would that I could spend all my hours playing violin and reading literature. Alas, my duties of overmistress demand I handle various protocols and rituals myself. And last time I tasked a minion to handle such matters, somehow a charity gala ended up becoming a blood choir. What's a blood choir? Think of it like karaoke night, but with more knife play. To tell the truth, I was thankful for the inevitable heroic interruption which halted that particular event before things got truly messy. Even if the public relations cleanup efforts afterward took longer than it would have taken me to arrange the event myself. I doubt I'll have such issues with you. I'm looking forward to working with someone outside the cult for a change. Huh, is she hoping we'll be super clean and precise? Cause like, you and I both know that's not always possible. I'm thinking she'd be happy for just a little bit less knifey than her usual assistant. So, murder sprees. No murder sprees. Got it. Precisely. I'm glad you understand. I do not demand perfection, and honestly, the thrill of silly is rather exciting. I want you to enjoy the mayhem. I desperately need adventure in my life, Miss Larceny, and through you, I hope to experience some by proxy. Yeah, this line of work can get pretty wild. If that's the kind of good time you want, well, I'm your gal. Excellent. I'd love to join you out in the field, experiencing all the thrill and danger myself. Alas, the cult would not stand for any threats to my safety. Thus, I must remain behind and only imagine the fun. Don't worry, Gibson's got a good comm system. You'll be linked in with me during the job. Oh, Gibson's the talking cat I mentioned in my primer profile. He's an ultra hacker. I think you'll like him. Splendid! And upon your successful return from these capers, we can celebrate. Wouldn't that be pleasant? <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, James. Have fun with whatever you're up to. Let's make sure she meant se sexy celebrate, not savvy celebrate. Well, she did mention orgies before. Sounds like you're headed for a good time. Oh, hell yeah. Bring on the orgies. Spank me and make me write bad check for your overmistress. I like your enthusiasm, but you can always back out if you're not feeling it, of course. Consent is absolutely critical. The safe word is Fatagin. For, for what? Sorry, common word in the blood tongue. We could pick something else, but that's for later. I had the blood tongue once, but some antibiotics got it right up. That interpretation is somehow both completely wrong and also eerily accurate. So, I take it the many-faceted one is only down with all this hanky-panky? 
Who's to say? It hasn't spoken to anyone in a thousand years. But tradition dictates acts of human decadence in its name. The Sanguinomicon is filled with various rituals to embolden the tantric aspect of deepest shadow, or as we call it here, Thursday. Followed by the deep shampooing of the carpets, or as we call it here, Friday. Oh, that makes it sound kind of boring, actually. I do enjoy decadence, don't get me wrong. I was raised to be accustomed to opulent le luxury. But truthfully, I'm looking forward to our work together more than yet another hedonistic social gala. Perhaps the reward afterward will feel all the sweeter for it. Pretty fork and sweet indeed. I'm not particularly blue with my language much of the time, but pretty fork and sweet, yes. Well, now that we know where we both stand, shall we discuss matters of crime? Ready to wrap, my overmistress. Oh, hoo hoo! Then let the games begin! Candy from a Baby Mission Briefing I require chocolate. Uh, okay, want me to run down to the corn bodega and get by a candy bar? Although your cult's mansion is out in the frickin' nowhere, so the corner bodega is like an hour away. <sighs> no, thank you. I do not require such plebeian chocolate delights. I require the big chonka. A candy bar is so perfect, so expensive, and so rich and flavorful that it is kept under guard. The big chonker? I thought that was only a legend. The legend is real, and through my sources, I have located it. Fortuna Nutrichemical, developers of both delicious snacks and weapons-grade biotoxins, have a stash of big chunkers. Delicious snacks and weapons-grade biotoxins. I hope not together. That's a bad combination. At their corporate headquarters, one half new product development research lab, one half high-powered executive offices. Huh, they do research and biz in the same building? Founded by Walter and Beatrice Fortuna, the dealmaker and the scientist, they prefer to work in the same building. Um. Okay, interesting. Making a mental note here. So it's packed with high profile execs and researchers. Security's gonna be tight. Kids still have to hack me in as a new employee so I can scout the joint, even if I don't know crap about science. If you're not up to the task, I understand. If it means tasting a big chonker, I delve into hell itself. Yes, candy from a baby. Although honestly, most of my candy comes from vending machines and cost a dollar, might not taste much different. Like nibblers packed with choco and nuts, which I don't think they can legally call them chocolate or nuts. That is not candy. That is misery in bar form. Retrieve my prize, Miss Larsony, and we shall share in this delightful indulgence together. You have my word. Um. Can you whisper the warning? Because I'm going to stop after I finish getting the briefing from Overmistress.
Okay, yeah, thanks for the warning, but it's that's not gonna be a problem. Yeah. Was gonna be an issue, but thank you for letting me know just in case. Fork yeah, one god to your candy bar coming up. Okay. All right, that's it for today. Wow, that was um, a lot. So we'll start with casing the joints next time, which will probably be next Wednesday. Um, Sunday, I'm planning to continue playing um, Hong, A Summer's End, Hong Kong, 1986. And then Wednesday, we'll pick up with Playing Rossity. Once I finish The Summer's End, which I'm predicting will take two more sessions, then I'll switch to doing Penny Larceny on Sundays. And figure something else out for Wednesdays. We'll see. So thank you everyone who came out. Um, I will be uploading this to YouTube, of course. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't feel like trying to read um, someone else. So everybody take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!